Inside a highly secure laboratory in Utah lurks the most venomous creature in the world. It has a venom so lethal, it's monitored by the United States government. They're regarded as a potential threat from bioterrorists. Therefore, they're regulated by the Department of Homeland Security. The bearers of this bioweapon are not what you'd expect. They're not exotic snakes, nor giant lizards. They're snails, killer snails. A sting from one of them can paralyze a human within seconds and kill within four minutes. There's one species in particular that's extremely dangerous. 70% of the cases uh, that get stung by this particular species uh, die. Why would a snail require such a toxic venom? When you think of a snail, you think slow. When you think of a fish, you think fast. So how is a snail going to feed on a fish? And the answer is venom. That's how they're able to do it. They have this incredible venom delivery mechanism that is almost instantaneous. For cone snails to take advantage of venom required the evolution of their own custom hardware. First, the snail unfurls a siphon to probe for a target. When it smells prey, it sends out its venomous proboscis. Inside the body of the snail, a miniature harpoon laced with venom loads into the proboscis and shoots into the prey. There's this excitatory shock, and then you can see the fins will go stiff, and he'll pull it right in. The fear that terrorists could harness cone snail venom is one reason Oliveira wants to find out how it works. He and his team set to work, extracting the snail's deadly elixir, and ran the samples through a high-pressure machine designed to separate out its toxins. The results were shocking. We were trying to purify out the components that, that probably killed people. And it was clear there were far more components in the venom than we thought. Most venomous animals have complex venoms, but nothing compares to the cone snails. Oliveira's team found that each species of cone snail could produce hundreds of toxins. But there was more. If you take the venom of this snail, uh, and you take the venom of this snail, um, each of them has a very complex venom, maybe 100 components, and there is no overlap. Of 700 species of cone snail, no two have evolved the same chemical arsenal. Oliveira's team suddenly had thousands of venom toxins on their hands, each with an unknown but potentially deadly function. And the only way to work out what each did was to test them, one by one. In a controlled study, they injected lab mice with each of the different toxins and observed a staggering range of reactions. There was a component that made mice go to sleep. There was a component that made mice scratch their sides all day. There was a component that made mice run around in circles. We really began to realize that all of these components were really fundamentally different from each other. Each diverse component of cone snail venom had a precise but also truly unique effect. For them to successfully catch a fish, all the components of their venom must have a target that they're able to bind to and affect very, very efficiently. And so it's an evolutionary scenario where what you end up with is substances in the venom that are very highly specific. For scientists around the globe, Oliveira's research triggered a crucial realization. Cone snails weren't just killers, they were living pharmacies. The same naturally occurring proteins the snails had modified into highly precise toxins could be altered again by science. This time, to have a precise effect in the human body, to fight pain, epilepsy, even Alzheimer's. So what does venom have to do with pharmaceutical drugs? And the answer is that venom has been produced by natural selection to have a very specific effect inside the body of an animal. 
So there are molecules in venom, and those interact with the molecules inside a body so that something happens. And that's exactly what pharmaceutical drugs are designed to do as well. So if you're looking for a chemical that's going to have an impact on the body of an animal, venom is a great place to start looking. Cone snails have some of the fastest evolving genes on the planet, meaning they're constantly developing new molecules that researchers feel could become powerful new drugs. We think there's at least about 100,000 different biochemically active peptides. Considering the fact that we only know 2,000 of those, there's still huge potential for finding many different drugs. Cone snails aren't the only source. The chemicals extracted from all sorts of venomous animals are being converted into drugs. The same toxin of the taipan snake that disrupts the blood of its victims is being developed as a drug to stop excessive bleeding during surgery. Already, people with certain brain cancers are treated with radioactive versions of scorpion venom. This incredible variety of venom is actually what makes it so useful the absolute ingenious evilness that's gone into the design of it means that we can take these things, find out what makes them work, and then modify it to make it used as a drug, where basically nature has already done all the work for us. We just need to figure out what they've done. As a killer or a cure, Venom stands as one of evolution's most versatile and remarkable innovations. Animals will continue to enlist Venom in their battle for survival but it is humans who may stand to benefit most from its continued evolution. Throughout the East, there are legends of martial artists who can explode the body's organs with a single touch. Myths of weapons far more lethal than anything produced in the West. But truth is nearly as astounding as fiction. Underwater assassination techniques still used by today's special forces. Weapons that deliver fatal strikes in the blink of an eye. Triple-bladed weaponry that maimed thousands on the battlefields. Prototype poison machines. Evidence of fighters who can even cause delayed death. Ancient Discoveries is uncovering the secrets of thousands of years of weapons development to reveal the technologies behind antiquity's most lethal killing machines. This is the untold story of the death weapons of the East. Become evident. Zooming in.